Hey guys, it's Sophia Beaumont here, and I've had a few requests to go through my bullet journal that I use for my writing. Um, I'm just going to do this really fast. I'm not sure how much memory my phone is going to be able to hold, and this will be my first video editing since I got my new laptop. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but I will try and make it quick and get this, um, show you guys. So this is an ARC notebook. It's the Martha Stewart line available at Staples. Um, I did swap out the rings on it just because um, the ones that came with were half this size and they were just way too small. So I'm skipping the first section that has all of the reference stuff like the calendars and the weights and measures and stuff in it. Um, I don't really use that section very much except when I need a date. So it, it's there for reference, but I don't really use it. Um, these first few pages are my production schedule that I made for myself. So I'm just going to go through it very quickly because there are spoilers here, but you can see I've pretty much done everything I wanted to do for 2017. I actually added a couple of extra things to the end here, and I'm almost done with those. But because I am an over, over planner, I've actually got everything that I want to write, outline, and publish up through, I think, 2022. <laughs> so, I do have a lot of books in the works. And I can't show you all of this, um, just because, like I said, it does have some spoilers in here. But this is my marketing plan for my next book, which is Moreau House. It's going to be out in February. Um, it's actually... I think February 28th is the date. Um, it's up on my blog and I will leave a link in the description box if you want to check that out. And uh, this is just um, more production stuff. I won a contest back in June called Shore Indie and my prize package was that I get a cover artist and uh, an editor and a bunch of stuff to help me self-publish my book. So this is just me keeping track of where everything is on that. Um, and then this is just me making a list of book promo ideas. This isn't necessarily for a specific book, just kind of in general and brainstorming things that I can do to help get the word out. So this is my five-year plan. Um, and I did pretty well in 2017. I haven't accomplished everything that I wanted to do, but it's really good to know where you want to go and make an actionable list of things that you can do to accomplish it. So you can see I went through all the way once again through 2022 listing all of the books that I want to publish and how I want to publish them. And then this is sort of the same thing um, this one I broke down more of the individual steps and what I need to do, and it's just a shorter list. And then I made a list of all of my current writing documents. As <laughs> so you can see, story ideas are not really a problem for me. And that's everything that I need to go, or that I need to work on and where I stand on it. And these are some notes that I took on marketing from a chat that I had with uh, Cynthia T. Luna. Um, she's wonderful. If you get the opportunity to take part in her services, you should definitely look her up. And I will leave a link to her Twitter in the description as well. Um, these are some people who have asked to be beta readers for different books. And just some things that I want to get done as an author. Um, things like joining specific writing groups like Sisters in Crime, um, different to do things that I want to do. I still need to get a P.O. box to go along with my mailing list, but I haven't been able to do that yet. Um, some blog post ideas. Um, and then one thing that I want to do once I'm actually making more money off of my books where I can actually survive off of it um, and I'm not living paycheck to paycheck anymore, is I want to be able to donate at least 5% of all of my sales to different charities. So, for example, my Evie Capelli series deals a lot with mental health, especially anxiety and depression. 
So I want to donate to a, a suicides prevention organization. And I just can't really show you this part right here, but um, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but I am part of the staff for Steampunk Symposium in Cincinnati, Ohio in April every year. Um, I help lead several panels there and we're doing a panel on um, uh, writing, we're doing the writing workshop. Um, I'm leading one on indie and self-publishing, historical research, and writing groups and communities. And this is some research that I did for a book. Actually, these are notes that I took last year at Symposium from a panel. There is someone doing a really good presentation on Victorian era currency in the U.S., specifically on the Civil War. And currency is one thing that I had some trouble with in one of my books, so I made a lot of notes. <laughs> um, this is also another note for a book. One thing that I like to do with all of my characters, especially when I'm outlining and drafting, is I sort them all into Hogwarts houses, and that kind of helps me determine their personality type. Um, now some of them are kind of crossovers. Um, I think I did finally narrow it down for this, but I have several slither claws that I write. Um, slither claws are my favorite because I'm a slither claw. And then these are some to do's that I have for my active projects. That's a note for another book. Um, I write myself an edit letter every time I do revisions, um, which is what that is. And it's basically a list of everything that I need to change when I go back and rewrite. Um, this is my production schedule and budget for Moreau House. As you can see, I have a very, very tiny budget. Um, and so because I self-publish, a lot of the stuff I just have to do myself. Um, and then I wrote one for All for One, which is going to be my next book after Moreau House. It's not part of the same series, however. Um, and another budget and production schedule... Um, I've also been toying with the idea of starting an Etsy in 2018, selling things like signed books, um, yarn. I finally have my dyeing materials back so I can dye yarn again, um, bookmarks, some hand sewn stuff. So that's something I'm toying around with. More blog post ideas. Um, I also like doing research series on my blog. And these are some ideas that I'm toying around with for 2018. I just haven't had time to do the research for them because I've been writing books. Um, and then these are all based off of some marketing research that I was doing, um, which is basically for growing your blog. And it's all about identifying your niche and sharing stuff about yourself that brings readers in. So that's what all of these notes are for. Um, this is my original edit letter for Moreau House. So spoilers, I can't really show you too much on that. Um, but this is actually all done. I'm still going to do a final read through, but my edits are all done for that. Um, and then these are notes for a short story I'm working on. So that is it for the author section. Um, I've got more that I can show you in here, but I don't think I can fit it all on my phone at the same time. So maybe some other time, if you want to see the rest of it, just leave a comment below and I will get to it. Thanks.